crazy. Crazy. Legitimately crazy. Okay. So firstly, you need to install Apache. So sudo apt install Apache 2. I already have it. Okay. Because I spent like an hour following incorrect instructions and being wrong. Now, for Apache 2, I'm going to open another one. That's just, uh, the stuff here is just the configuration stuff. Um, if I recall correctly, it's in cd slash var slash w, yeah. Then HTML, ls, you got yourself index.html, nano, sudo nano, html. W, um, and then slash. Bracket, um, right. Okay, here. There's the little main page thing. Whoa, whoopee doopy doo. No, no, okay, someone decided to put, it works, your got to sneeds feed. I wonder who that is, who put that in the header. I don't know, but it seems like they did the job of that. Index stuff, yada, yada. Now, so we have that stuff set up. We have here, I just need to make one last trip slash etc okay the slash c okay now we need the super user for this stuff and then cd tor now in tor we have tor rc and tor socks dot com tor socks is if you're running it through socket which is a lot more secure than tcp in that it supposedly doesn't leak into like the actual local network uh, traffic. So if you're trying to hide that you're, you know, setting up a Tor thing, then that would be the better option. But we're I'm going off the assumption that you are just a good fellow who is running a personal blog or something else, nothing illicit or questionable. Now. What you need to do is hidden service dir slash var slash lib slash tor slash hidden service and then hidden service port 80 that's the one that you know like Apache 2 is listening to and everything like that 127.001.80 so it's your local thing your little local guy on port 80 so var lib tor hidden service Obviously, that's the location of where the hidden service is going to be. Control Shift C. Okay. So now we just need to take a trip over to there. One last trip. CD. Oh, stupid nano. Slash var. Slash lib. Oh, okay. Super user slash tor and here we have hidden service. We actually have we also have a few other things, but um CD in service and there you go. Now host name. Who 
put our actual host. Okay, I don't mean that host name. I mean cat host. That is our actual onion address. And mine, you know, I think I got some pretty good one right there. Look, presentable. The last thing which has to be done is actually starting Apache. Pseudo service Apache to. These are the different options you have with Apache. Uh, you have your start, stop, graceful stop, restart, reload, force reload. So obviously we're going to do start. And then, wow, that's cool. Now let's go into Firefox. And let's see if localhost, you know, 80 is, you know, showing anything. localhost oh well we got ourselves a little guy right here your got to sneeze feed that is epic now what about if i go to here i'm gonna open up my tor browser let's check it tor browser Blah 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 onion. What's it gonna load up? Is it gonna not? It loaded. Connection secure. This browser to the France Guard, UK, Spain, relay, relay, relay. Right here to this onion. Got your got to sneed speed. So, what does this show you? Well, it's not too hard to actually get over here. Now, is this necessarily the most secure thing? No, it is a basic default Apache setup, and I don't even think I updated it. I'm pretty sure I just installed it. So that's not, you know, too secure. The actual, you know, it's free hosting, basically. Free hosting in terms of, you don't need to pay for a domain. But, you know, at the downside of, it's a hidden service with like 64 characters, uh, you know, of address. 64 characters of a 64 characters of an address and I don't think anyone is ever going to willingly go to your site over you know business or anything like that they're just they're just gonna think it's sketch now if you're just hosting a blog or a small thing or you know some basic web page this works 100% fine for that okay you could even self host that but if you're trying to you know run something which has any type of questionable service or questionable things or is against like a government or run it in hiding of the government right if it's anything like that which actually needs any type of security this is not how you'd want to do it I mean, you could do it through the same method, but you don't want to do it on your real, you know, PC. You'd want to do that on a VPS, which would ideally accept something like XMR for payment. You would want to, you know, depending on the threat model, potentially set up like a very basic bastion host type of thing or a very basic VPN thing. And the only way to actually get into the server is, you know, through said VPN in order to actually edit anything. So you'd need two, you know, servers. Ideally you'd want new and if you're setting up a whole network type of stack like thing, you'd want to aim for more BSD over any type of Linux or Unix or you know uh actually a or you know any type of that soy stuff. You'd want to aim for more BSD. Just for the security of it. You know, um, and also, you probably wouldn't want to use Apache. I don't know. I don't know if you <laughs> would want to, but it works, I guess. And yeah, that's basically it. Is this how you can set up a very basic Debian Tor instance? Yeah. Is this what I would recommend if you're trying to do 
anything which requires anonymity, you know, or else you go to prison or you die, then probably not. You'd want to follow, you know, and luckily the actual Tor website, the Tor Onion service setup, they have an actual little website, right, you know. The Tor, pro the Tor project actually has a little, you know, set up your own hidden service guide. They even recommend, you, like, using a tool called Onion Leak to see, you know, how how much data could potentially be pulled from your service, how hidden is it. The thing with Tor is that the users, they're, you know, pretty hidden, but the websites themselves can be exposed depending on any issues with that, you know, such as not patching their actual Apache thing like I did.